I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a post for Sexual Futurist. Zoe's law in New South Wales has made it into the Senate. What is this law? It hands down a minimum sentence to anyone who terminates a pregnancy during the commission of an illegal act. Australia does not need this law. New South Wales especially. Queensland already has similar legislation and the wording is so vague it's almost impossible for a woman to get a lawful termination of a pregnancy in that state. Now I'm pro-choice. Now that means I am pro-education, I am pro-contraception, and I am pro-anything that allows women to have control of their own bodies. And now we have this law so that two states with massive populations will be controlled as far as women's bodies go and their reproductive cycles. And it does so by making these laws vague and uh, open to interpretation. So that if, say, a well-meaning clinic or a clinician is misfiling its paperwork, that counts as the commission of a criminal act. And if they are misfiling it for a whole year, well, any termination of a pregnancy could see the clinic owner in jail. The religious, the extreme religious right, and they are very, very tiny here in Australia, have religious exemptions from voting. And yet they ply favours with politicians, campaign contributions from their well-paid members, personal greetings to even the Prime Minister of our country. And I, for one, am sick of it. If you have a problem with abortion, put forward an anti-abortion law in the face of the state-by-state territory by territory ethics codes that have already been hashed out over painful decades of debate here in this country and see where you go. However, these groups know that that won't work because we've already had that debate. What they're trying to do is tell us that we've all been naughty children and they know best. And if you're sick of that, if that bothers you, that as one sexual futurist to the rest of everyone else watching, whether you hate my guts or you agree with me wholeheartedly, or you're somewhere probably in the middle, I think you should let your politicians know that if they want to have a debate about abortion, call a spade a spade, or tell them that you will advocate for, the, for someone else in the next election who will support your causes. You know, like the rest of us do instead of just hitting them with millions of dollars of campaign contributions. I'm Ozzy Griffin. Thank you for watching. And thanks for staying here with Sexual Futurist.